It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So as I did say, it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, let's get into the wonderful challenges for this week, starting this wonderful thing off. So, starting from the left hand side, we have Mercury. We have the Flashpoint on Mercury, which we need to complete the up and up heroic adventure. And then we also, like I said, have the Flashpoint. And if you do the heroic version of this, you can get it done a lot quicker. Then we have the Vanguard, which we have your daily, which you need to complete. Th I'm sorry, weekly, which you need to complete three daily story missions. And then we also have uh, your Vanguard Strikes, which you need to complete one daily, as well as three strikes. And then we have your Nightfall, which you need to complete the Nightfall, as well as get 100,000 points in the Nightfall. Coming down here to Gambit, we have your Daily, which you need to complete one match, and then your Weekly, which you need to complete three matches. And as for Crucible, we have your Daily, uh, which you need to complete one Crucible match, and any of the Crucible modes, except for private matches as well as your weekly, which you need to complete five uh, Crucible matches in any of these modes. Once again, except for Private Match. Then we have the Dreaming City, which you need to complete the uh, weekly challenge, which is complete uh, two weekly bounties. And then last but not least, we have the Traveler. We have Ikora, which you need to complete bounties of any type and you need to complete 20 of those as well as uh, clan rewards which you need to earn 5,000 XP for your clan. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. What can I do for you, we are going to go ahead and start with the wonderful Prismatic Matrix and that I keep forgetting every week. We have the Sanctified Vigilant Shell. This comes with uh, Public Defender. Omni Telemetry and one random mod. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Transcendent Geometry for the uh, Vesper of Radiance, which this is an ornament for the Warlock and still won't let us preview. Thanks, Bungie. You guys are awesome. Then we have the Aim to Misbehave for the Malfacence. Oh my god, this ornament looks beautiful. I want one. Like, I really, really want one. And then we have uh, Dragonfly uh, Regalia Grasps for the Hunter. Dragonfly Regalia Greaves for the Titan. Then we have Smooth Dance for a Emote. Then we have uh, Where Stars Collide. It's a ship. It's a pretty ugly ship, but it's a ship. And then we have the uh, Ademian... Uh, I can't even say that. <laughs> Cavalcade. Hope I said that right. Uh, as well as the uh, Mappa Mundarum. This actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. At least this barrel does. Not the other, not so much the other. And then last but not least, we have your jewel protect uh, projection <laughs> for your ghost. And pretty much it puts a diamond over your ghost. Then for the bright dust purchases for this week, we have Disco Dance. Then we have Lucky Shot. Then we have the Warrior Steed for uh, a speeder. 
This thing also looks ugly. Uh, then we have the uh, Frago Junium. Junium? I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. I'm just going to keep going through these and not even like try to pronounce these things. Then we have the... Uh, this ship. <laughs> Once again, another ugly looking ship. Then we have the Dusk Harrier. For ships, we have the Iris Map Shell. Comes with two random perks. Then we have the Crucible Projection. Uh, Dragonfly Regalia Grasps for the uh, Armor of the Week. Uh, so you can get that on every character. That's what it looks like on a Hunter. Comes with uh, Mobility Enhancement Mod, Posterior Reinforcement Mod, Momentum Transfer, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Then we have your Dread from Below, which is an ornament for the Telesto. And then we have the uh, Credence, which is an ornament for the Trust. Trust looks pretty badass. Then we have your Green Bean effects. Your Taken Arrival. As well as uh, Desert of Gold and Cyrus Modular Shine for your uh, shaders. Then we have your wonderful boons and your fire team medallion. Don't forget to visit Petravenge in order to grab her bounties. This week we have Broken Courier, War of the Dreaming City, Ascendant Challenge, Gateway Between Worlds, Field Work for Daily Bounties, uh, Public Works, Squad of the Taken, Lost in Ray Sylvia, as well as the challenge is heroic public events. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.